Hello everybody, welcome to Grobu, uh, which is another game uh, made by the same creator of Dead Dreams as well as Hedera. Um, now I think, timeline-wise, this one comes out after Hedera and after Dead Dreams, assuming Dead Dreams is the first one that came out. Still not entirely sure on that one. Not sure if like Dead Dreams was the last one started, first one finished kind of thing, or... Yeah. But anyways, this is Grobu, and judging from the title screen, I mean... Looks kind of cool. Looks more nature-y than the last one. So, um, yeah, again, no idea what this is about, but it's another kind of surreal horror. That's all I know. Same creator. So, let's go. Anna, where are you going? I guess I am this dude now. Hello. Okay, we got a big building of some sort. Can I run? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Bye, Hannah. Can I go to the building? Nah. Of course not. Hannah. This feels very dead dreamsy, hey, with like the fog and the hedge maze and stuff. Like right off the bat. Oh. Oh, she's super dead. Dude, you're chasing a dead girl. I hope you realize that. Uh, I guess we'll go in the door. It's closed. Okay. Just kidding. We're not going in the door. We're gonna keep going around the hedge maze. And I'm sure absolutely nothing bad will happen. Oh yeah, you're creepy looking girl. Uh-huh. Yeah, we've done this song and dance before. Car? Kind of dented. Car accident? Did I hit her? Did I kill her? Is that what's going on? Like, predictions now in the first two minutes. I just straight up murdered this chick, didn't I? Like, ran over her with my car. She's super dead. It's a key. Oh, and we're moving slow. And are we zooming in? We're zooming in and moving slow. Classic. Oh, you hurt me. Okay, you're a car. Uh, why do you- I cannot outrun you that well. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Hi, Mr. Car Monster. Please leave me alone. Saved. Okay, good. Ah, it was all just a dream. Another nightmare. Oh good. So I'm not a murderer. Not yet! Okay, and then we have options. What are in the options? Command remember off, language, blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. This is my house, I am guessing. Oh, did I just move into this house? Where are we? Oh, doctor, I think you should find yourself another apartment to, you know, distance yourself from everything that could remind you of her. And the calendar thing. Is it essential to your work to know what day of the month it is? Ah, uh, I mean, I feel like it's kind of important to know the day of the month, but... Oh, my name is Hugo. Okay. Well, no, not really. Excellent. Then just get rid of it. Turn it off on your phone and computer. It is also important to keep yourself busy during those weeks. Maybe I'm... Uh, no, he said during work, so I don't know. Maybe you should even develop a morning routine. I read that in certain cases it can be really effective. All right, thanks. Of course. So, is it our last session? I'm free to go now? It can be. Unless you would like to continue with therapy. No, I am I think I'm fine. This was really healing. Thank you, doctor. Sure thing. And here, Henry. My name is Henry now. Are you sure? Take my visit card. Just in case. It's Hugo. Ah. <laughs> hmm? My name. Hugo. Oh, yes, yes. Of, of course. Okay, bye. Bye. Feel free to call me anytime. Okay, so doctor doesn't care about me. Cool. Uh, Gemma, I came to say bye. Looks like a grandmother? Oh, no, Mr. Kovac. Good morning, Gemma. How are you two doing today? Fine. Nothing new. So you're leaving right now? Pretty much, yeah. Are your cats going to be fine? Yeah, I mean, I'm only going for three days, so they're used to it. They probably love it, honestly. They're cats. I talked to the neighbor. He's okay with helping you out while I'm absent. Good. Am I the neighbor? Wow, what's all that? Just my old junk collection. I wish I had a junk collection like this. Are those... Jazz records. Most of them are from my time living in La Ville de Paris. I didn't know you've lived in Paris. Jazz, France, all so romantic. Were there any women in these stories? There were. One. I demand more details. Wow, that's a little forward, Gemma. Maybe some other time. Oh, but you always say that. 
Next time I see you, we'll talk about it. Promise? Promise. Well, unless I forget about giving you my word. I mean, 86 is not a joke. I'm an old dude. Hey. Just kidding. Come on, you'll miss the train. Bye, Mr. Kovac. Bye, Mr. Cat. See ya. So who's Gemma, then? Just like a friendly neighbor, perhaps? Oh, Garobu. Roll credits. <laughs> Who am I, then? I'm Hugo, I'm guessing? Press shift to run. You can't run when you're stressed. <laughs> if that isn't life advice right there, I don't know what is. Okay, so yeah, we can run a bit faster. Hi. Okay. So we got some, like, ruins with some dead people on the walls. Got more creepy Hannahs going on. Okay, that's zooming out. Ooh, I can't go this way? Oh, it's blocked. Okay. We should never have left this place. Oh, I think I could just kind of run infinitely, maybe? Yeah, it's hard to say. What place is this? Oh. Horse? Deer? Giraffe? Creepy noises. Okay, well, let's run a little bit. Oh boy, what's up here? It's getting closer, whatever it is. Enter the hole. Yes? Ooh, achievement unlocked. Empty shell. Oh boy. That looks like a casket. Pretty sure somebody's dead. <laughs> Me? Probably me. What's that noise? <laughs> Great question, Hugo. I think it comes from Mr. Kovac's apartment. Okay, so Hugo is looking after Mr. Kovac, I guess. And I can sprint here. Wow, I can zoom here. Woo! Okay, doesn't look like I have a sprint meter, which is interesting. Only when I am quote unquote stressed. Uh, is this Mr. Kovacs? Nope, this is the bathroom. No pills to take? Usually in these games there are pills in the bathroom to take. I don't know what they do. Uh, oh my gosh, there's so many doors. Is this Mr. Kovacs? I mean, this kind of looks like a bathroom. No, it's an elevator. That's locked. Mr. Kovac! Mr. Kovac! Hello? Are you okay there? Crap. All right, all right. The keys. The keys. Here. I mean, it's also probably the middle of the night. Maybe he's sleeping and having a nightmare? Okay, that's a stove. Stove's not on. Good. Don't want to burn your house down. That door just jiggled and I really don't want to go touch it. Okay. <laughs> and we're zoomed in. Mr. Kovac, are you in the bathroom? No. You have a nice gold toilet, though. Gotta say. Very fancy, Mr. Kovac. Okay, this would be your bed. Hi, Mr. Kovac? Hello? 911? Oh. Oh no. You have a heart attack or something? Oh shoot, he's like straight up dead. Oh boy. Mr. Long? Hugo Long. What a name. Yes? So you found the body? Tell me everything. How exactly did this happen? I remember hearing some noise. What noise? I don't know. Some arguing? I think his TV was on. Then what? Then I decided to check on him. The door was locked, but he left me his keys so I could bring him some food and stuff without disturbing him. Were you friends? Uh, no, nothing like that. We barely talked. I just moved in here, actually. Uh, what is this? Routine. Oh, okay, this is my morning routine. 7.45, brush teeth. 7.55, put the clothes on. 8 o'clock, music. 8.05, breakfast. Teeth, clothes, what is it? Teeth, clothes, music, breakfast. Okay. Well, let's go brush my teeth. 7.45, brush teeth. Okay, clothes. We can do that. Alright. 
Yeah. 7.55. Put clothes on. 8 o'clock music. Uh, I did not find music before, but I'm sure we can find music now. It's over this way. This is my kitchen. It's kind of a cool doorway effect. Like, it's only when I touch this tile that it'll just kind of teleport me. But it's kind of a cool little, like, you know, angled look. It's pretty neat. Okay, we got, like, YouTube going on or something. My little cactus. Choose your music track. Light piano, sunrise, or sweet morning. Let's go sunrise. Is that the right music? Oh, I have a balcony. Okay. It's fun. Um, and then breakfast. Right? Yeah. Cut the veggies. Yes. Enter the cr Oh my gosh. I was not ready for that. Okay. Let's try that again. Yeesh! Didn't realize there was quick time events going on here. Nope. Is that Mr. Kovac's cat? Somebody's gotta look after it, right? I guess that is now me, Mr. Cat. No. Okay. Is it on the balcony? Oh, no. There he is. Hey, what are you doing here? Hi, kitty. Come here. It's probably one of my neighbor's cats. It's probably Mr. Kovac's cat because he's dead. No. Uh... I guess I'm supposed to go out to my neighbors and be like, hey, is this your cat? No, that's the dead guy's cat. Knock, knock. Ding, dong. Hello. Hi. Wait, this is this girl. She's back now? Hi. Is this one of your cats? Oh, he was with you. Then please take him back and lock him down so he doesn't get... It's not mine. What? What you said? I... Then who's... Oh, it's Mr. Kovacs. Yep. Sorry for being rude. I was just working and... What should I do with it? Did Mr. Kovac have any family left? Not that I've known of. Are you sure? Because I don't need it either. Listen, maybe you could... I can't. Sorry. Alright. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye! Leave the cat where you found it. Well, I found it on my coffee table, so I guess this is where you are going, cat. Congratulations, this is your new home. Okay, you stay right here. Yes, because cats will absolutely do that when you tell them to stay here. <laughs> What's that sound? There are some sounds. It seems to be coming from Mr. Kovac's apartment. Can I look out this window? I'm kind of hoping that one of these times when I look out the window, there's just like a creepy person standing on the balcony next to me. And it's just never explained. <laughs> Also, this is a lot less nature-y than I thought it would be. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, and we're zooming in. Kitchen. Okay, stove is off. Still. Good. Uh, we never went this way last time. Is this furniture or are these body bags? Very important distinction here. I think that's just covered furniture. Why is there a door? What's that? Looks like a secret door. Uh, well, I can't do anything with it, so... Oh boy. Maybe I need a key? Or like a door handle or something? This is very unsettling, by the way. Oh, and we're zooming in and we're moving slower. Oh, good. Oh, goody good. Why is there a shovel? Did someone put this in here? Okay, well I can't take the shovel. Oh, yep, yeah, there's just a casket. A coffin? What's this doing here? Also, there were definitely footsteps to my left and I don't like that. Oh boy. I'm about to get murdered, aren't I? Yep, bloody footsteps, okay. What was that? <laughs> I should probably go. Yeah, great plan, Hugo. Bye. We're out of here. Audi 5000. Bye bye. We have a morning routine to finish up. Mm hmm. Kitty cat. Kitty cat's gone. Of course, kitty cat is gone. Why would he stay there? 
ding dong? It was like a very crunchy ding dong. Hello? Yes? Okay, I'll take it. Really? Great. Can I come in? Um, sure. Sorry, of course. Come in. Yes, take the cat that I no longer know where it is. Mr. Mr. Come here. His name is Mr.? He doesn't have a name. I guess Mr. Kovac just considered him his roommate. Pretty sure you would still give your roommate a name, but alright. Weird. He usually doesn't like strangers, you know? Who? You mean the cat? Yeah. You live alone? Yes. Why? I think he might have seen something in you. Oh yes, my sparkling personality. Hey, and have you thought about cat shelters? There should- No! No cat shelters! Alright. Listen, I'll take care of it. You just let me know if you see the cat. Uh, sh sure. Yeah, because I lost it, so... It's time to take a bath. Alright, to the bathroom I go. Bath time. I'm definitely not going to find the cat in here, so... Bath time it is, then. Why am I looking through a keyhole? Oh, somebody's looking through my keyhole. No. That's rude. That's super creepy. Don't you dare. Oh no, why is my room all foggy now? Or is that just the steam from the bath? Who's in my house? Okay, that's just my daily routine. We've already established that I have done that. Hi, who's in my house? Whoever you are, be gone. You're not welcome. Oh, here you are. Come here. Okay, Gemma, I found the cat. Ding dong. Found him. Hey, buddy. Thank you. You do have a lot of cats. Yeah, three with this one. You probably think I'm some kind of crazy cat lady. No, not at all. <laughs> Why would I think that? As I said, I don't need another cat, but I guess I have no choice but keep it. Okay, I should get back to work. Bye. I should go to the groceries now like, leave my apartment, go get groceries kind of thing? Is that what we're up to? I guess so. Also, what was with the secret door in Mr. Kovac's apartment? We're just gonna kind of gloss over that? I guess? No. Picking up the groceries. I need to thank Gemma for taking in Mr. Kovac's cat. Something for cats? Cat food. Yes, in order to thank Gemma, I shall buy the cat a present. That's how this works, right? Right. Also, I'm calling it now that cat's just going to be my apartment, isn't it? We just keep zooming in. Very dramatically. Hey, Gemma, I got some cat food. She's not home. It's too late. I'll just leave the food under the door. I should go to sleep now. I'm surprised I shoved that box under the door, but alright. Doop a doop a doop, nothing bad's gonna happen. Definitely didn't eat dinner either. <laughs> Is my phone ringing? I have a phone? Hello? Ring ring? Who's that? Hey, where did you get Hannah's number? This is not funny. What? I have Hannah's number? Am I living in Hannah's apartment? That seems kind of like a bad idea, man. No. <laughs> Hello? Knock knock, who's there? Who knocked at my door? You know, that's all locked. Oh boy. I don't know where that knocking came from. Is that my balcony? I mean, it sounded like my front door, but... 
Oh, nobody there. Okay. Um, I guess we go to sleep then, as we originally were going to. Oh, we're moving slow. What now? Could it be Gemma? I could just sleep. Or I could do what you're not supposed to do in any sort of horror situation and go towards the creepy noises. Mm-hmm. There's nobody there! <laughs> One of these times something's gonna just jump out from either the doorway or the hallway. Odd. I swear I heard someone. Yeah, we're just gonna sleep that off, bud. Saved. Okay. Good. Well, this looks like Hedera. So we're gonna save this for next time. Um... We're just gonna get a little taster. I forget how long this game is. Probably just a couple hours again. I think all these games are just kind of a few hours. But yeah, we got Garobu. Which, so far, honestly, kind of interesting. I don't really know what's going on. As expected. My name is Hugo. I went to therapy. I think I broke up with my girlfriend, Hannah. Maybe I killed her. I mean, the beginning kind of made it seem like I ran her over with a car. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And that cat is very suspicious, too. So... Thank you guys for joining me this week, and I'll see you next week.